hi guys you are welcome to my channel uh, today we'll be looking at how we can trade uh boom and crash index on the lower time frames uh, but before we go to the lower time frames we are gonna look at what has happened on the higher time frames uh before we take it down to uh the lower time frames okay i'll be starting with boom 1000 index on the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame uh for the 1000 index i see price uh that price is ranging i have my read top at that point on the weekly time frame and the range bottom is around this point on the weekly time frame but uh i will not be ruling out the fact that uh price uh, is attempting to go up uh, price is currently attempting to go up on the weekly time frame uh, let's say it's just at the middle of the range okay price at the middle of the range at the 9867 level so we might be seeing price uh push up to the top of the range but that's that for the weekly time frame on the daily time frame what do we have we have um a low here and we have a high we have a higher low and we have this higher high so price is still ranging but ranging upwards ranging upwards the fact that uh price is forming has already formed a higher a higher low all right so that is typical of a bullish structure the start of a bullish structure so we might expect price to go up some more than drop uh, to some to some point drop to some extent okay before continuing the bullish trend all right that's that but if price is gonna drop on the daily time frame uh we have this other block that might serve as uh this particular order block might serve as support to price okay so if price is gonna drop might drop to this other block and find some support before going up so that's that for the daily time frame. Uh, yesterday candle shows that um, price has gotten to this resistance level and price has dropped. But today's candle has not retraced up to 50% of yesterday's candle or possibly retraced to 50% of yesterday's candle, but has not closed above that level. So we might see, um, we might see price dropping back down, okay? Uh, to drop below the low of yesterday's candle we might see price dropping below the 9765 level but if that does not happen price might get up to uh, the high of yesterday's candle which is at uh, 10008 level so that's that for the daily time uh, the daily uh, time frame let's check it let's take a look at the four time frame on the four time frame we can see that price uh, is still rising okay in a bullish trend where we have this low high and we have like a swing low around here giving us a higher low look at the shadow of this candlestick uh, there's a bullish candlestick a bullish pin bar and price is going up so we have this other block at the top we have this other block at the top price might get to that other block and find some level of resistance okay price might get to this top and find some level of resistance for us to have a double top but if price does not meet with resistance at that point price might go up to break the high for us to have a higher high and a break of structure to the upside on the one hour time frame you can see that the bulls are in okay and the bulls are in look at this double bottom we have this double bottom this is the left bottom uh this is the right bottom okay and we have the break of the neckline look at the break of the neckline happened around here uh, where price broke this structure for us to have it like a change of character so what we are seeing is more like a retest of that level before price goes up but if price refused to go up uh, price is going to drop back to this order block price drop back to this particular order block to find some level of support uh before going up 
okay so that is possibility that's a forecast for the uh, one hour time frame let's take a look at what we have on the 30 minutes time frame on the 30 minutes time frame the uh the the price has given us more like a triple bottom this one uh this is two and this is three okay this is the first one second one third one okay and we have the break of the neckline around here and look at look at the momentum okay the bullish momentum showing the the the, the manner with which the buyers took price up okay more like buyers book profit around here okay you can see the price just spiked up we have a profit uh, uh booking uh session around there for price to go up and break this particular high so we might see price going up some more all right so on the 15 minutes time frame we see our price in a bullish trend uh if this spike if this little spike that just happened if it is anything to uh, uh consider we might see price for minute swing low around here and price might go up all right but for now the overall direction is to the upside on the five minutes time frame price is obviously in a range for now uh the range bottom is this this is the range bottom okay and this is a range top on the five minutes time frame for boom one thousand index so we might want to wait for a range breakout for us to uh make a trade decision same with the one minute time frame uh price is ranging look at we have a low around here we have a high higher low higher high also we have a low a, a high a lower low a higher high a lower low so it's ranging no definite direction for now so we, we might want to wait for a range breakout for us to place trade on the uh, uh boom 1000 index but the overall direction for now appears to be bullish uh so you might want to look for buying opportunities for boom 1000 index for crash uh 1000 index on the weekly time frame uh the price of crash 1000 index is currently bullish uh, the price is currently bullish uh on the daily time frame uh it's also bullish uh looking at what we have here uh yesterday's candle candlestick shows that uh, uh the the buyer stepped in to stop this uh short or little uh descent okay so the buyers came in in as much as today's candlestick has moved past above uh the high of yesterday's candlestick that shows that uh, the buyers are in the market and uh, let's take a look at the trend line look at the trend line got broken okay more like a retest and if price continues up uh, to break today's high we might consider uh, buying crash 1000 in, in as much as the overall direction is still bullish on the four hour time frame what do we have on the four hour time frame on the four hour time frame you can see that price okay form the trend line a descending trend line initially uh looking at this test around here another test here but we have a break of the trend line to the upside and look at a break a retest and then a break so that shows that price might be targeting uh the other block at the top we have this other block to serve as resistance to price on the four hour time frame we also have another other block serve as resistance to price on the four hour time frame and we have uh uh the ascending trend line now as much as this ascending trend line is respected which i expect uh we might consider buying crash 1000 index on the four hour time frame let's take a look at what we have on the one hour time frame on the one hour time frame for crash 1000 index price is obviously forming like a a cup shape Look at this uh, low, lower low, lower low, higher low. Okay, we are seeing something like a higher low. So a break of the neckline. Okay, break of this neckline. Okay, might prompt that price 
my continue its direction up you might see a break above that level a retest and a break for us to have a higher low okay in as much as uh the trend line this particular trend line is respected okay we have one trend line here we have another trend line here in as much as the trend lines are respected the ascending trend lines we might consider by uh crash uh one one thousand on the one hour time frame okay but for now what up we are looking at on this particular part of the screen is uh, something like an evening start which might signal a drop in price but if price is going to drop price will likely find uh, a support at this other block okay why may likely find a support at this other block and the other block is going to be in confluence with this ascending trend right so price might likely find support around here and then go up so that's that for the uh one hour time frame let's take a look at the 30 minutes time frame what do we have on the 30 minutes time frame on the 30 minutes time frame we can see what we have here is a low a high higher low higher high there's a lower low then there's a high high so the overall structure is still bullish okay right still moving in a bullish bullish uh, uh, structure so i uh, might consider buying crash 1000 index on the 15 minutes time frame is still bullish but what we, what we can see on the screen is a double top okay on the 15 minutes time frame uh, this is the left top and this is the right top uh price has also broken the te uh, trend line and uh, the neckline price has broken the neckline and price is currently retesting the neckline if we see a spike that drops below this low uh, we might want to sell uh crash uh 1000 to this particular other block we have this other block around here okay and we also have another other block at the bottom uh these two other blocks might serve as support uh, to price price could get to this other block and take a bounce back to the top or it could get to this other block and take a bounce back to the top okay but the overall direction for now is bullish on the five minutes time frame we can see price ranging initially this is the range top okay and this is this was the range bottom but now we have a break below the range and price is re uh, retesting that particular level where we have the breakout so if price drops at this point it could drop below and then we might start seeing uh, the development of a bearish trend on the five minutes time frame but if price is able to get to this other block at the top we have this other block at the top which might serve as resistance to price i'm talking about this other block price able to get to this other block we might see a slight draw okay for price to continue to the next other block which is this particular other block i'm talking about this other block okay the price gets this other block we could see another drop okay but that's that is currently ranging and the overall direction is bullish on the one minute time frame what do we see we see this big drop this spike and then we can see price has reversed uh more than 50 percent of the drop so that's it that's a cause uh, for worry uh to the uh bs okay uh, as soon as price goes up and we goes up to this point and we do not have a, a solid spike that can go below the initial low and price just spiked a little we might see price reverse it but the overall direction is still bullish so you might possibly look for uh buying opportunities so that's that for crash 1000 index let's take a look at boom 500 index on the weekly time frame on the weekly weekly time frame for boom 500 index we are seeing uh less spikes but more pullbacks and what we are looking at is the fact that uh we have this descending trend line that clearly shows a bearish direction on the weekly time frame where we have this high this low lower high lower low so as soon as we have lower high lower low lows on the screen uh that is the initiation or the direction of a bearish trend 
now uh, more like we are seeing a lower high around here for price to continue in the overall direction but this is the weekly time frame price might as well break above this as time goes on but that's that on the larger time frame for price to drop back and break this this particular structure i'm talking about the structural low at uh, 3171 level for price to break that may take some time it could take weeks it could take months but the overall direction of the weekly time frame is bearish okay uh let's take a look at what we have on uh boom 500 index for the daily time frame what i can see on the daily time frame is the fact that price is currently giving us like uh let's see what is the top we have shadows around here uh this is another top a long shadow and this is another top so we are seeing more like a triple top um this is our neck the neckline and we might be seeing price drop below the neckline for price to get to uh this particular order block or for price to drop to this lower order block and for the overall direction on the weekly time frame to continue in a bearish trend but that's that's We'll continue to monitor but if price is able to push above price might have some solid resistance at this particular order block on the daily time frame okay if price should push above might meet with resistance around this point for price to drop and the resistance point the other block point that my server resistance is in confluence with this descending trend line all right that's that for the daily time frame on the four hour time frame what do we have what do we have on the four hour time frame we can see that price is uh descending and looking at this bearish engulfing uh, candlestick for the last four hour uh look at this shadow uh we are having more like a a, a, a triple top we are seeing a triple top where this is uh the first top uh, this is the second top and this our third top so if that this triple top is entered to come by the neckline will be around this point so it might be seen price drop below the neckline or retest the neckline uh, for the overall bearish trend to continue i'm talking about the overall bearish trend on the higher time frame to continue so that's that for uh boom 500 index on the four hour time frame let's take a look at boom 500 index on the one hour time frame on the one hour time frame i can see a a, a top around here uh, another top and this is another top but we have seen something like a low around here you know as much as this neckline was broken we are looking at a retest of that neckline a retest of that neckline to signal price dropping more to this other block we have this other block here on the one hour time frame talking about this particular other block okay if they drop to that other block we could see price go up so that's that but for now price is ranging on the one hour time frame and we'll take this as our range top the 3707 level as our range top and we'll take this as our range bottom, the 3640 level as our range bottom. So that's that for the one hour time frame for boom 500 index. Uh, let's take a look at um, uh, the 30 minutes time frame, still ranging. This is the range top on the 30 minutes uh, time frame. Let's take this as our range bottom. A break below the range signal for that slide of boom 500 index. But it, it break above the range to signal a rise in price of boom 500 index on the 15 minutes time frame you can see that the the bears are in control okay the bears are in control if the bulls are able to push price up uh, to break and close above this trend line for price to get to uh, this particular range top the bulls are able to put price price to this level and possibly drop price to retest the trend line and then push price up above the range we might be seeing a triple top a triple bottom or 
inverted head and shoulder for price to go up but if price is going to go up for boom 500 index on the 15 minutes time frame we have this particular other block at the top that might serve as resistance to price this other block might serve as resistance to price and if price gets that other block price might drop or price might break it but for now uh boom 500 index is ranging on the 15 minutes time frame it's also ranging on the five minutes time frame no clear direction on the five minutes time frame this is the range top the five minute and this is the range bottom on the five minute no clear direction for now okay on the one minute time frame what do we have on the one minute it's still ranging still ranging on the one minute we have this slide and we have this rise and price is currently sliding so it's still ranging so i want to wait for a range breakout for boom 500 index let's take a quick look at what we have for crash uh 500 index uh on the weekly time frame is still ranging price is still ranging on the weekly time frame now this particular week that we are in uh, the candlestick is showing a long shadow uh that's tricky for the buyers if the price if price close below the low of the week the current low the current low of the week is at 4719 level if price closes below that level uh, that might be dangerous for the buyers uh, the sellers might step in with full force for the next uh, week for next week and sellers might push price down okay but on the daily time frame you can see this long candlestick uh, more like an engulfing candlestick and the body is engulfing the initial body and price is responding to it until we see price pulling back up before we can consider buying but for now it's advisable to sell as this ascending trend line has been broken the ascending trend line has been broken got broken we have like a retest up to this point and price is dropping so you might want to consider selling but in as much as you want to sell uh you might look for uh, this you might look out for this particular order block that my cyber supports to price on the daily time frame on the four time frame price is currently bearish on the four time frame on the one hour time frame price is ranging price of crash 500 index is currently ranging on the one hour time frame okay on the 30 minutes time frame it's also ranging we have this top this double top this is left up, right up, a break of the neckline and price uh, went down. But price is recovering for now on the uh, on the 30 minutes time frame. So recovery might continue uh, for price to slide to the range bottom. These are range top. And this is the range bottom. Okay. So price might recover to the top or might drop back to the range bottom. On the 15 minutes time frame price is currently you know bearish okay it's bearish until we see a recovery above this ascending trend line for price to target the order block resistance at uh, the 4815 uh, level else price is going to drop back to the uh, support area on the five minutes time frame price is currently bullish but we are in a range okay uh, we might be looking for a range break we might look out for a range breakout we might look out for a range breakout for us to take a decision if price is going to drop back or if price is going to break above and continue its direction up on the one minute time frame we have price ranging so that's that for today's video uh if don't forget to click the subscribe button so that you get to see more of our videos if you like the video go ahead and click the like button drop comment below the video ask question uh we'll try as much as possible to respond to you, your question don't forget to share the video to your friends and loved ones also uh, you can smash the bell button below the video for notification uh, you can go to our website www.beanfxtrader.com to learn more on how to trade uh boom and crash index you can also visit another website of us fxfables.com to learn more on how to trade uh, boom and crash index till i come your way tomorrow is bye for now